I've had a request uh, by somebody. They want to know how to crop pictures in Photoshop Elements to uh, make them website size. In other words, they have a template for creating a website, and uh, this person needs them to be the resolution of 940 by 325 pixels and 96 pixels per inch. So the first thing we're going to do is when we're in Photoshop Elements, we're going to open the file. It's going to go File Open, and um, let's see. I saved them on my desktop in a folder, and one of the reasons I hate Windows file management sucks. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay, so we're going to open this picture here. And uh, this picture was taken from a high definition camera, so it's 1920 by 1080. We need to crop it to 940 by 325. Now, to get specific pixels like that, the easiest way is to go File, New, Blank File. I'm going to create the file in the resolution of 940 by 325 at 96 pixels per inch background contents transparent you can name it if you want um, I'm gonna name this uh, website test image okay so now we got this new file in the um, you know the aspect ratio that we want so what we're gonna do is we're going to go up here and we're gonna just kind of you know make it so it's like you know smaller than the workspace and uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click back on the uh, picture I got here. I'm going to drag the layer onto the new image, just like that. Now it's going to load the new image. So now we'll make that big again so I can work with it. Okay. So now, as you'll see, it's in here. And by using the selection tool up here, which is the uh, mouse cursor with the uh, four-way arrow, we can move it around. But uh, you might want to change the size of it. So, the best way to do that is to go to Image. We're going to go to Transform and Skew. Make sure that Constrain Proportions is checked. And we'll change the percentage to, say, uh, 60%. Okay? Then we'll go over here. We'll hit the green check mark. Say we want to accept that. Now we'll go back. Make sure the Selection Tool is on. We'll adjust this. Move it around to where we want. And, uh, let's see. I guess that's probably as good as we want. So now, what we do is we go File, Save for Web, and in the Save for Web window that comes up, we choose uh, what kind of image we want, um, usually GIF. Um, this person says that they need a JPEG, so we'll go to JPEG, Quality, we're going to set the quality to 90, because just like video compressing, above 90 is useless. It contains a bunch of information, especially in a when you're compressing it into something like JPEG, it contains a bunch of information that increases the file size, you know, dramatically, yet makes no visible difference. So we're going to go down here, make sure that the size is 940 by 325, constrained proportions, okay? And now, yep, very high. We're going to click on OK. We're going to say we want to save it as website test image. We'll go back to where we saved it, okay? Back to that original place. As, yep, saving as a JPEG. We hit save. And it's done. And now we'll click on the, uh, whatever you call this thing in Windows. And let's uh, refresh this folder. Oh, sorry. I'm in the wrong location. Um... Okay, there it is. So here's the original image, which opened in the wrong window. Put it over here. Here's the original image, and here's the new image in 940 by 325. So again, original, cropped to 940 by 325, ready for the internet. And uh, just to make sure, if I click on this image, you'll see down here, okay, maybe you won't see it. Uh, if I right click and go to properties and details 
yep, you'll see it right here under image dimensions, 940 by 325, and the uh, resolution horizontal and vertical is 96 dots per inch, which is the same as pixels per inch. And that is how you crop an image to certain pixel dimensions in Adobe Photoshop Elements.